Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual Mishtaburah Shir. We are holding you Mishtaburah Chel Gimel, and Mir Sashem today we will be learning Dav Tes Amid Beis. We are continuing to learn Hilcha Shabbos. We're working our way through the fascinating halachas of Amir La'akum, Schar Shabbos, etc. Our learning today should be a schus for Achenu Kobeis Yisrael, Hanesunim Atzaru Ba'ashivya, Ha'im Debein Ba'yom Ubein Ba'yabosha Ha'makayim Yerakeim Aleihem, V'yaitzim Yitzarlo L'Rvacha Me'afeilo La'oiro Mishibu L'Gu'ula, Hashta Ba'gala Uvizman Kariv V'Namar Amen. I do want to mention, um, the Olam is going to be listening to this shir um, still in a while, I'm recording it ahead of time, but I'm recording this shir. We had just received the Basura Taiva last night on Masi Shabbos, about four hostages that were rescued from Gaza. We all take the time, Bar Hashem, and we all have in mind to be mispalal for the Yidin, for everything that's going on in Eretz Yisrael. But we also have to take the time, when there's a Basura Taiva of this type, we have to take the time to thank the Rabbani Shalom for the Basura Taiva. Baruch HaTar Hashem Alekeinu Melech HaOlam Matir Asurim that the Rabbanu Shalom takes these Asirim out of captivity, we need to thank the Rabbanu Shalom for that as well. Not only to be mispal, sometimes people fall into the trap where they get in their minds that it's only the bad things that the Rabbanu Shalom is doing. The good things, eh, those we take for granted, or those come some other way. We have to be mispal, and then we have to thank the Rabbanu Shalom for the Basiris Tavis. Okay, we pick up today on the second line of Tesamid Beis in the Shulchan Aruch. We are in Simon Reish Mem Vav, and we're holding in the middle of Sif Gimel. Now, in the previous year on Tes Amid Aleph, in the beginning of Sif Gimel, the Mechaber introduced to us the Isser of Shvisas Behemtoi, or should I say the Mitzvah of Shvisas Behemtoi, which is, we know, a Yid's not allowed to do Malacha on Shabbos, but a yid is also not allowed to have his behema do malacha on Shabbos. Where does this come from? So the Mishtabura told us on Tesem and Aleph in Mishtabura Ois Katan Yud Beis, near the bottom, that this is a din daraisa that comes from a pasuk in the Aseris Adibrois, Laman Yonuach Shorcha V'chamoy Recha. Shabbos is not only so that you should rest on Shabbos, but also Laman Yonuach Shorcha V'chamoy Recha. Your shor, your oxen, your chamor, your donkey. There's a, a mitzvah of Shvisas Behemtoi, your animals also have to rest on Shabbos. Because of this mitzvah of Shvisas Behemtoi, the Mechavah told us here in Siv Gimel, in the very beginning, with three lines off the bottom of Tesam and Aleph, Oser lahaskir lahashil behemtoi le'eni Yehudi k'dei sheyasa b'malacha b'Shabbos. You're not allowed to lend or rent out your animal to an eni Yehudi. Even on Sunday, you're not allowed to rent it out to him for two weeks or for a week, so that the term of the lending or the term of the rental includes the Shabbos, because he may do malacha with the behema on Shabbos. And you're not allowed to have your behema do malacha on Shabbos, even if it's in the hands of the Eni Yehudi. So what do you do? So the Ramah told us over here in Sif Gimel that there's an Eitzah. The Eitzah is what you could do is you can make a Tanai. You could lend it to the Eni Yehudi for a week, for two weeks, for a month. So you have four Shabbosos in the term of the rental or the lending. You could give it to him on a Tanai Kodem Lamaisa on a condition that he is going to return the behema to you on Shabbos. Can you make a condition that he could keep the behema and not do malacha with the behema? That the Ramah said you cannot do. Why? Because the Ramah said, Ein ha'ena Yehudi neman al kach. The Ein Yehudi is not trusted not to do malacha. He's going to say, yeah, 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 I'm not going to do malacha with the donkey on Shabbos. And then on Shabbos, he's going to plow using your donkey. So he has no nemonis. The Mishtabura went out of his way to tell us we also cannot rely on mirsis. We can't rely on the idea that he's going to be afraid that he's going to get caught. Because he's not afraid. Whatever it is, we saw that already in the Mishtabur. But the Eitza is, make a Tanai that he's going to return the animal to you for Shabbos. Now, having that Tanai in mind, now says the Mechaber on the second line here on Tesselman Beis. V'im hishila o hiskira le'ena Yehudi. Let's say you did lend out the animal or rent out the animal to the Eina Yehudi for a term that includes Shabbos. V'hisna imoy. And you made the proper tonight with him. 
you made it tonight, Tony. You need to return the donkey. You need to return the ox to me before Shabbos. But you know what happened? The ikva b'Shabbos. And the Eni Yehudi was not mekayim the Tanai. The Eni Yehudi kept the animal on Shabbos. So now you're going to Mincha on Erev Shabbos and you realize Tony never returned my shor. Now he might do malacha with my shor. What am I supposed to do? Says the Mechaber, Yafkirena, you should be mafkir, your animal, Beinoi lebein atzmai, between you and yourself. Says the Mechaber, this is a bedievit situation. You're stuck. You did the right thing. When you lent out or rented out the animal to the Eni Yehudi, you made it tonight with him that he has to return to Pohon Shabbos. So you did the right thing. You ticked off all the proper boxes. Tony is not cooperating. Tony decided he's holding on to the animal. Now, if he does malacha with your animal, you're being over on Shvises Pehemtoi. So what do you do? Says the Mechaber, you could be mafkir the animal. So you're going to declare the animal ownerless, and you could do this you could do it between you and yourself. As you're walking to Mincha, you say, I'm being mafkir my shard, that's by Tony. Nobody has to hear you, which is a very big Kiddush, which we'll discuss in the Mishnah Brewer, but yafkirena beinoy lebein atzmai kaidem Shabbos. That's one Eitzah. Eitzah number two, says the Mechaber, or he could say, behemti kenuya le'ena Yehudi, Instead of being mafkir the behema, declaring it ownerless, what the Yehudi could also do is he could make a statement and he could say, I am being makne the animal to the Eina Yehudi. Now it's going to belong to the Eina Yehudi for Shabbos. Now we're going to have to see the details of that in the Mishnah precisely how this works. And the Mechaber says, why are we allowing you to do this? Both of these tenoim, both of these eitzes, I'm sorry, not to know him, both of these eitzes carry chedushim with them. The first eitzah, you're being mafker the animal, beinoy lebein atzmai, hefker like that, we don't usually do. We usually do a hefker in front of a bezdin, three people, you're being mafker beinoy lebein atzmai. The second eitzah, you're just stating that it should be kenuya to the Eni Yehudi? How does that work? Why are we allowing this? Says the Mechaber, kedei sheyin notzel mi yisur dar because this Yehudi is in a pickle. He did everything right. He gave it to the Yehudi. He wasn't a Peshaya. He wasn't negligent in Hilcha Shabbos. He made the Tanai. Tony, you got to bring it back to me. Tony is the one that's messing him over. Tony's not bringing the animal back. We don't want this guy to be over on Laman Yenua Sharcha Vechamerecha. So we give him an Eitzah. Go ahead, be Mafkrit, be Noel, be Natsmai, or make a statement that you're being Makdit to the Eni Yehudi and it should belong to the Eni Yehudi for Shabbos. Let's take a look here at the Mishnah Brewers, some very interesting Mishnah Brewers here. Mishnah Brewers is cutting your dollar. Yafki Ren. The first dates of the Mechaber was, be mafkir, declare the animal ownerless, be noy le between you and yourself, says the Mishnah Brewer. First of all, you should know like I spoke out. Vizeu dafka bidievit. This is only a bidievit situation. Shekvar his the imoi. This is only a bidievit for the case where you made the Tanai with Tony. And the Eni Yehudi, Tony, decided not to be Mekayim the Tanai and not to give it back. And now you're stuck in a pickle. Ava l'chatchila. Are you allowed to do this l'chatchila? Are you allowed to go lend or rent out the shor to Tony for four weeks? And then when Shabbos rolls along, you'll say, oh, it's Shabbos, it's almost Shkia, I'm after the shor. Are you allowed to do that l'chatchila? Says the Mishra, no. Ava l'chatchila also l'haskira al das sheki sheagia yom ha-shabbat sheyafki rena. You're not allowed to go ahead. He brings this down from the Taz and many other achreinim. The Mishra Bura says, you're not allowed to do this l'chatchila. Rent out the shor to Tony for four weeks. Al das, that when Shabbos comes, you'll be mafkarit and not make it tonight with Tony. That you're not allowed to do. V'afilu im yafki rena b'fnei shloisha. You're not allowed to do that. Even when it comes to Erev Shabbos, you'll make a real hefker. You'll pull together three people and you'll be mafker the shor in front of three people. So you're making a proper hefker. You're not doing a mechudishnik a hefker, a hefker in front of, you know, between you and yourself. No, you're doing a real bona fide hefker in front of three people. So it's somewhat public knowledge. You're still not allowed to do this lechatchila. She'ena kol yoidim in a hefker. Because even if you do it in front of three people, not everybody who's aware that you rented out your shard to Tony 
is going to be aware that you are mafkered on Erev Shabbos. And now you're going to generate a chshad. People are going to be chosh to you. People are going to think that you went ahead and you rented out your shar to Tony and allowed him to do malacha with it on Shabbos in contravention of the mitzvah of Shisa's Bamtai. So you're not allowed to do this because this is going to create a mara sign. So again, the Mechaber gave an Eitzah. You made the tonight with Tony that he should return the animal before Shabbos. Tony failed to return it. Says the Mechaber Eitzah number one, be mafkarit be noilu be natsmai on Erev Shabbos. Says the Mishnah Bura, you allowed to do this lechavkila? Never make the tonight with Tony? And then when Erev Shabbos comes, you'll be mafkarit? No, you're not allowed to do this lechavkila. Lechavkila, you got to make a tonight, and he has to return it to you before Shabbos. But if he didn't, we allow you to do this. Why can't you do it lechatchila? Because lechatchila, we're worried about marasayin. Lechatchila, if your shar is going to be by Tony over Shabbos, and Tony is going to be plowing with your shar on Shabbos, people are going to think that you are over on Shvises Behemtoi, so lechatchila, you're not allowed to do this. Continues to Mishnah and he says, Va'af b'mechira, even if you want to use a real bona fide mechira, a real bona fide sale to Tony, what does that mean? You go ahead and Shabbos comes along. Tony wants to hold on to the animal over Shabbos. So you go over to Tony and you say, look, I'm going to sell it to you for Shabbos. But I'm only selling it to you for Shabbos. Sunday, it's mine again. So we're going to set a price, $10 for the shar. Tony, give me $10. Tony, the shar is yours for Shabbos. It becomes mine again on Sunday. So this is a real bona fide mechira. And now the animal is not yours for Shabbos. Says the Mishnah Bura, even that, Vaf Bemechira ain't heter. Even to do a Mechira, you don't have a heter to do that. Elikishemoicher Behemtoy Leena Yehudi Bemechira Gemura, I'll call you Mea Shavua. You're only allowed to, Falazach, you're only allowed to rely on a Mechira, on a sale to the Eena Yehudi, if it's a sale that's for the whole week or for the whole term of the rental. It cannot be a sale that is only specific to Shabbos. To make a mechira, whereby you're only selling the shard to Tony for Shabbos, you can't do that. Why? Again, because of Marasayim. People are going to think that Tony is using your shard in contravention of the halachas of Shvises Behemtai. However, the Mishnah does bring down, the Bach mater lechatchila, the Bach is mater even lechatchila, Lahaskir to rent out the shard to the Eni Yehudi, Al Das Shiafkirena Bifne Shloisha. On the Das that you're going to make a real bona fide hefker in front of three people. Why is the Bach matter this? The came into Shloisha Yoidim because the Bach reasons that once three people know that you are Mafki the Shar, Mefarsama Milsa, it's already public knowledge that you are Mafki the Shar, the Layavali Dekshada. So the Bach doesn't believe that there's a Maris Ayin problem here, and therefore says the Mishtaburu Bishasat Chak, under pressing circumstances, F Shishiesh Lismai Khadvarov, could be we could rely on the opinion of the Bach, and the Mishtaburu says we will discuss this in greater detail at the end of the simon. Now, Ice Cotton Tesvav, the Mechaber said that the Hefker that you're going to use over here, again, in the Bedievet situation, you rented out the shirt to Tony, you made the proper tonight that he should return it to you before Shabbos. He didn't listen. He didn't return it. So now you're stuck in a Bedievet situation. How do I avoid being over in this a of Shvises Behemtai? So you're going to be Mafkarit. And the Mechaber said you could be Mafkarit you don't have to be mafkirit in front of anybody. As you're walking to Mincha, I'm mafkir my shor. Big Chiddush. Says the Mishnah Rai's cut and test, Vav, beinoi lebein atzmai, sha'oz eina mitzuva al shvisasa. What you're accomplishing by this is, once you're mafkir the shor, you no longer have a problem of lamanya nuach sharcha v'chamerecha, because it's not sharcha. It's not yours anymore. You are mafkirit. Kevin she'eina shalai, she'kvar of kira, because it's no longer yours, because you are mafkirit. Now, says the Mishnah Brewer, Really, we paskin that hefker has to be done in front of three people. So has the Mechaber giving you an eitz over here that you should be mafkrit beinoy lebein atzmai? Zeu midar says the Mishnah this requirement that you need three people 
is only in the Rabbanon, and we'll discuss the reason for that. It's a very interesting reason why the Chachamim said that you have to be mafka in front of three people, but let's put that aside for a second. Says the Mishnah how's the Mechaber telling you you can be mafka at Beinoi le I, we usually need three. The requirement of three is only a Rabbanon. But midaraisa hefka works even between you and the lamppost. On the way to Mincha, you say Yamafka the Behema, it works midaraisa. And therefore, says the Mishnah, in our case, in our case, Shekfar Hiskira, where you already rented out the animal to the Aini Yehudi, the hiss the Yachsi Rena, and you did the right thing, you made it tonight that he should return it. The Ikvan, you failed to return it. It's enough for us to allow you to be mafkarit which is okay midaraisa, in order to protect you from being over in this Okay, having said that, says the Mishnah Take a look at the Beis Yosef. There are paiskim that say that even in this bidi case, av shehu there are Paiskim who disagree with this Mechaber. There are Paiskim who say that no, even in this case, you have to be Mafker the animal in front of three people. Valkane, and therefore says the Chavetz Chaim, Toiv Lizar Bazel Chatchila Im Efshari. If you got stuck in this situation where Tony did not return the animal, don't be Mafker Be Noyle Be Natsma Lechatchila. Better call together three people, do a proper hefker in front of three people to be yoitza the paiskim that hold that even here you need three. Then says the Mishnah Va'al kol panim, at least yizar lafkira b'fnei echad. You should at least be mafkarit in front of one person. Derabim igdailea paiskim sevrim, because even though we said that midaraisa hefker works with one. You should know that that's not a Dara Muskim. There are Paiskim that hold, there are Gdoyle Paiskim who hold. The after Arisa ain't a Hefker, Achi Yafkiren, I'll call Panim if they are them Echad. There are Paiskim that hold that even Midar Raisa, you need to be Mafker something at least in front of one person. Even if it's a member of your own household, call, call your adult son uh, you know, to you on the way to Mincha and be Mafker in front of him but at least be mafkrit in front of somebody. So let's recap over here for a second, and let's discuss it a little bit. So, the Mechaber said, Tony didn't return the animal. The eighth is be mafkrit between you and the lamppost, on the way to Mincha, you say to yourself, you know what, you verbalize it, you say, I'm mafkrit the animal. Okay, says the Mishnah Baruch, be chiddish. Usually we say you need three people to make hefker. And for the Mishnah Baruch, Three people is only a requirement, all right? Midarabonon. Midaraisa, Hefka works even with one. Now, let's tackle that first. If Hefka works, Midaraisa, with one person, why did the Chachamim say that Midarabonon, you need three? So the truth is that this is based on a Gemara in the Dharm. Gemara in the Dharm, Daf Mem Hey Amad Aleph. The Gemara says, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi Omar, Dvar Torah filu be'echad, have a hefker. Midaraisa, the Gemara in the Dharm says, in filu in front of one person, hefker works. Umatam omru b'shloisha. Why did the Chachamim say you need three for hefker? Kedei shi yehi echad zoicha ushnayim mi'idin. Why did the Chachamim say you need three? I'll tell you why. There's a very interesting halacha when it comes to meiser. You grow your crop, you harvest your crop, 10% you have to take off, you have to give it to the levy. Hefker is potter in Meiser. So, there's a very easy way for everybody to avoid having to give Meiser. You know what you do? You harvest your crop and you mafker it. Now, imagine if you could perform Hefker, you go out to the field, you look around, nobody's listening, I mafker all my grain! Hmm, okay. Then what do you do? You take it back. You're cutting it from Hefker. Now you bring it into the house, you use all of your grain, and you don't give Meiser. I mean, at, oh, come on, Hefker is butter and Meiser. So, of course, this would be the wrong thing to do. Pasuk says, you know, the Rosh says, test me out with Meiser, right? Uh, um, 
uh, what's the lotion? Um, Hisaser kedele hisasha. Give meiser kede so you should get rich. You should get rich. You don't. You're supposed to have a moon in betachin. The Rosh Hashanah says, "Give meiser. Don't worry about your money. Give meiser. The Rosh Hashanah will take care of you. You'll have plenty of money." But this guy's not such a bala moon and such a bal betachin. He wants to avoid giving meiser. So there's a very easy way. Just go ahead and be mafker all of your meiser. Said the chachamim, you want to be mafker something, you have to do it in front of three people. You know why in front of three people? Because if you mafkir something in front of three people, one person could get up and grab whatever you are mafkir. And if you'll try to go to Besden and you'll say, hey, this guy stole my stuff, the other two people could come to Besden and say testimony. They could be Adim that you went ahead and you were mafkir your stuff. So as a method of making sure that a hefker is a real bona fide hefker and not just a wink wink and a joke in order to, let's say, avoid giving your maestras, the Chachamim said you got to be mafker in front of three. So, okay. So the Mishnah Bruins, and I believe you could see this, by the way, if you look at Dirshu footnote number 16, I think they discuss it over there as well. So, okay. So this, so the Mishnah Bruins says, yes, the Mechabah says you could be mafker in front of one. I normally would say you need three. That's only a requirement. Midarabanan, midaraisa, one is enough. And over here, we're going to be satisfied with making the daraisa requirement because it's a bedievedic situation and we want you to avoid being over in a daraisa. Then the Mishnah came along and the Mishnah said, but, but, don't be so quick to rely on the Mechabah and do it between you and the lamppost. Preferably do it at least in front of one person. Why should you do it at least in front of one person? So there's a Dirshu footnote over here, Dirshu footnote number 17. The Dirshu footnote number 17 brings down from, from the Ksav Seifer. Why are there Paiskim that say, even Midaraisa, you need at least one person? And Beinoi Lebein Atzmoi doesn't work. Kasa B'Sha'al Zetshuva Ksav Seifer Shekevin Shaloi Noida Adover Le'ish If nobody knows that you are mafkerit, Ein HaMafker Meskaven Lasoi Zois Belev Shalein The Paiskim who say that you that even with Daraisa you need at least one person is because they say if somebody is mafker something Beinoi Lebein Atzmoi there's no way that that's a real Hefker. How is that a real Hefker? If nobody knows that you declared something ownerless, how is it ownerless? If a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there, does it make any sound? That's the same question. You're being mafker is something, what does hefker mean? You made it ownerless. That means anybody could take it. If you scream, if you yelled out loud in a forest 100 miles away from everybody, all my stuff is hefker, does anybody know? No. So in what way is it hefker? So says the Ksav Seifer, that's why there are Paiskim that say that you must be mafkarit at least in front of one person, otherwise there's no way it's a real hefker. You zikr don't mean it. You're just joking around. It's a wink-wink because you think you're going to get away with something. Therefore, they hold you need one. Okay, and like it says over here, diburim ba'alma, v'hoisif, but then the Ksav Seifer adds, if so, so why does the Mechaber say that over here you could talk and do it by noil by natsmai, and that kasha is even a bigger kasha than what it sounds like. Because if you look at the sharetzir and ice cut and yudches, you'll see that really in chayish and mishpat, the mechaber himself says lahalacha that in order for hefker to work, you need to be mafkar in front of at least one person. So why on earth does the mechaber say over here in hilchas shabbos that in order to save you? From being over on Shvisas Behemtai, you could be mafker your animal, Beinoil Beinatzmai. What's Pshat? So the Ksav Sever tells you, I'll tell you what Pshat is. The reason why we say that you need at least one person, says the Ksav Sever, is because we need to know that you mean it. And if you did it in front of nobody, there's no way that you mean it. Therefore, we say that you need one. And even the Mechaber in Chayshimish, but says you need one. But over here in Hilcha Shabbos, we know that you mean it. Why? Because why are you doing it? You're doing it in order to save yourself from being over in Issa Daraisa. If you're doing it in order to save yourself from being over in Issa Daraisa, of course you mean it. You don't want to risk not, you don't want to risk being over in Issa Daraisa. So of course you mean it. it. Says in the footnote over here, Vaisif, 
the Tzav Sofer says, Shemitam zeh Sofer HaMechaber, Shele'inyin Shvises Behemta, Moel Hefker, Ben Oil Ben Atzmai. That's exactly why the Mechaber says that over here, Hefker Ben Oil Ben Atzmai works. Shekedeli, he not so me yisser. Because over here, you're doing it to save yourself from being over a Daraisa Chasachalila. Mestabr Shemizkavad Lahafker Benes. So then we know you really mean it. The ain elu diburim ba'alma, and you're not just talking and doing wink, wink. Okay, now we move on to Mishtabra Ois Katan Tezayin. So we've covered the Machabra's first data. The Machabra's first data was be mafkir your animal before Shabbos. Tony didn't return the animal. Be mafkir the animal before Shabbos so that you're not over in Shvisa's Behemtai. The Mechaber had a second Eitzah. The second Eitzah was that you should say, okay, Shabbos is coming. Tony didn't return the animal. My shar should be, should be, should now belong to Tony. In the words of the Mechaber, Yomar behemti kenuya le'ena Yehudi. My animal should now be acquired by the Eina Yehudi. How does that work? Your statement, Tony has your animal. Your animal is in Tony's barn. He rented it from you. Now you're going to say, oh, my animal should no longer be mine. It should be acquired by Tony. How does that work? There's no magic. There has to be a Kenyan. We know that in halacha, in order for ownership of an object, of an animal, of anything, to be transferred from one party to another party, there has to be a Kenyan. You can't just go make a head and make a statement. How does that work? What's what's the mechanism over here? Says the Mishnah Rois cut into Zion Bamti Knuya Leini Yudi. I am the Magen Avram. He says, take a look at the Magen Avram. Shedai to it's the Magen Avram's opinion. The Dafka this only works. Im Oimer Loy Befonov. You're not just saying as you walk to Mincha on Erev Shabbos. Oh. My animal should be acquired by Tony. No. The Magen Avram says this only works if you're standing in front of Tony and you tell Tony, I got a problem. Shabbos is coming. You were supposed to return the animal to me. You didn't. You know what? For Shabbos, my animal should belong to you. You should acquire it. Still, what's the Kenyan? Okay, at least now you're not just saying it by Noel ben Atzmai, you're saying it to Tony. But what Kenyan, by what mechanism is Tony acquiring it? This explains to Mishnah Brewer. Sha'oz miskavein ha'en Yehudi liknoisa. Now Tony has das to acquire the animal from you. Vehi nikneis loy ba'amirazu. And this verbal statement is enough to effect a transfer of ownership. Why? Kevin Shehibar is Shusai, because where's the animal? The animal is located in Tony's domain. It's on his property. It's in his barn. The Kanyale Chatzerai. And now Tony is going to acquire it with Kenyan Chatzer. Now, you have Das, this Das Makne, to give it over to him. He has the Das Koine. He has Das to be Koine it. And it's in his Chatzer. So he's kind of with Kenyan Chatzer. Avo, im oimer kein shaloi b'fanav. But if you make this verbal statement not in front of Tony, loy kenaha in a yudi klal. The Magen Avram says it's a joke. If you say it not in front of Tony, it doesn't work at all. It's still your animal. You got a shvisa b'emtai problem. Vafilu im zicha loy al yidei Yisrael acher. Now you might think, oh, I'll come up with a new chap. I'll employ a different mechanism in order to transfer ownership of the animal from me to Tony. You know what I'll do? I'll walk into shul 15 minutes before Shkia. I'll go over to my chavrusa, and I'll say, I want you to be zoiche in the shar for Tony. You'll, you'll go make a kinyan with your chavrusa. You'll do chalipin. You'll give him your pen. You'll give him your gartel, whatever it is. You'll make some kind of a, a chalipin over here. Or... You want him to acquire it if we paskin that it has to be the object for Chalip it has to be the Ah, well, let's not get into this. He'll give you his gartel, whatever it is. This is Chayshim Mishpat. Um, you'll make a Kenyan with your Chavrusa and you want that your Chavrusa should be kind of the animal for Tony. Now that's something that works between two Yidin. You could do that between two Yidin. If you have a need 
for somebody else, another year to be kind of something, and he's not around. A good example would be, when we get to Chelek Dalit, Iruve Chatzeros. When you make it Iruve Chatzeros, everybody in the town that you're making the Iruve Chatzeros for, they all have to have a Chelek, they all have to have an ownership in the Iruve Chatzeros. So what, you got to go around town and make a Kenyan with everybody? No! You take a box of matzah, you go ahead to another guy, to your Chavrusa, you give it to him, and you tell him that he should make a Kenyan on it, and he should be Zoiche in it for everybody in the town. How does that work? It works because of Zechia. How does Zechia work? Well, we notice the golden rule. Zochin la Adam shaloi b'fanov. You could do something that's advantageous for another Yid, even if he's not around. Now, this is advantageous for all the Yid in the town. They all want to have a chalik in the Eruv Echaseris because they want the Eruv to work for them. So you give it to another Yid, and he has to have Das on being Zoich in it for everybody else. So this Yid, who has a Shvises Bamtoi problem, he says to himself, Oh, I remember that I. I I have to do something that the animal should be mine. Okay, um, I remember that I could tell him, okay, I want you to be kind of, he could be kind of with Kenyan Chatzar, but he's not here, and I don't know how to find him. Oh, I'll go into Shul, I'll go to my Chavrusa, I'll make a Kenyan with my Chavrusa, and I'll ask my Chavrusa to be kind of the animal for Tony. Says the Mishtabura, that doesn't work. Let's take a look inside. Says the Mishtabura, V'afilim zichalai al yidei Yisrael acher. Even if you try to use the mechanism of zechia by having another yid be zoiche in the behem of four toni, gam kein loy mahani, that would not work. Kamavur b'chayshem ish but simen reish bem gimel sif yodalid. Why won't it work? I'll let you in on the secret. The reason it won't work is because zechia does not work for an ena yehudi. It's true. Zochin laadam shaloy b'fanov by another yid, not by an ena yehudi. Why? Because the Chia works by Shlichus. And ain't Shlichus, le ain't a Yehudi. Zok to Mishnah Ravaita. Vechain his kibar pri begodim. Ushari achreinim, kamagin avram, to pri begodim, and other achreinim all agree with the magin avram that when the Mechaber says this etza of saying that your behema should be acquired by the ain't Yehudi, it means that you're saying it to him, not be no le Not only that, says the Mishnah Brewer, who posh it. <laughs> Mr. The Chavetz Chaim says that this is Pashat. You wouldn't know it by looking at the Machaber. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Pashat, it's obvious. Even if Ruven is telling Tony to his face, okay, you didn't return the animal to me. You know what? You should acquire my animal. My animal should now belong to you for Shabbos so that I don't have a problem. And he's going to be kind of with Kenyan Chatzar. That's not enough. Says the Mishnah Ruh, but Inon, Sheyelo Zegam came Psikas Domen. You also have to make a price. So that means you have to tell Tony, all right, look, you didn't return the animal. Fine. We're going to say that the animal is worth $10 for Shabbos. You're going to give me $10, and my behemoth should be knu yolecha. It should be acquired to you for Shabbos. And then he's going to be kind of with Kinyi Chatzar. But you have to have a psikas domim. You have to make a sale price. Because if you don't make a sale price, then this is not a mechira. So to recap, the second Eitza over here of the Mechaber was, first Eitza was be mafker the animal, the second Eitza was essentially make a Mechira with the Eina Yehudi. How are you going to make this Mechira? You'll go over to Tony, you'll tell him, my animal should be sold to you for Shabbos, we'll make up a price, $10. Tony says yes, now he's kind of it, with Kenyan Chatzar, and now it belongs to him, and you have no problem of Shvisas Behemtai. Says the Mishnah Baravaita is cut in Yudzai. And the Mechaber said, Why are we allowing you to do these two Eitzes? In the words of the Mechaber, Kedeshi, you not sell me Yisra Daraisa. Because we want to save you from Chas Chalila being over in Yisra Daraisa. Says the Mishnah Baravaita. Ritzan al what the Mechaber wants to say over here is, that's the only reason we're letting you do this. He's repeating what he said earlier in Ois Katan Yodalit. This is all but the Evid, like the Mechavah says. We're allowing you to do this to save yourself from being over in But could you do this? 
rent it to the Eni Yehudi al das that when Friday comes you'll be mafkrit or you'll make this car the mechira? No. Shahafkar vahakna enon before summon. The reason you can't do this with Khalkhila is because this is not public knowledge, the Yesh Kanak Shashmar Sayin Vikanal, and therefore when other Yidin see that Tony is working with your behema on Shabbos, they're gonna think that it's being done in contravention of the Allah and Shri's Bamtai, and there's gonna be Marasayan. Vain Basaifa Simon. Now let's go to the Ramah. Says the Ramah three lines off the bottom. Haga. Very fascinating Ramah that we're not going to understand until we see the Mishnah Bura. Says the Ramah. Haga. Vim writes if the Yid wants, Yachala Hafkir Lufte Shloisha Bede Adam Kidin Shar Hefker. First thing the Ramah. <coughs> First thing the Ramah says is, <coughs> if you want, you could do right away just a Hefker in front of three people. A real bona fide hefker, Machabe said, do a hefker, says the Ramah, you could do a bona fide hefker in front of three people, and even though you're doing a real solid hefker, it's good in the Daraisa, for that you only need one or maybe nobody. But even in the Rabbanon, you did a real bona fide hefker in front of three people, and even if you do that bona fide hefker, don't worry that you're going to do a hefker in front of three people and somebody's going to go grab your animal and say that they were coined from hefker and it's not yours anymore. Why? Because everybody knows that the only reason you want mafka the animal is to save yourself from the Isser of Shabbos. You're only doing it to get around Shavis' Bamtai. So could somebody come and grab it and say, okay, I was coined in front of he- from hefker? No, they can't. Now this Ramah at face value is very disturbing. Right? If you just read this Ramah, it sounds like the Ramah is saying, listen, you got a problem. You got to get out of Shvisa's Bamtai. So go do Hefker. The Mechaber said, do Hefker in Benoi Luben Atzmai. The Ramah says, listen, I'm telling you, you can even do a real bona fide Hefker. Right? Don't worry. Be Mafkrit in front of three people. Be Yitz all the Shittas. Be Mafkrit in front of three people. Do a Hefker that's a real Hefker. Even with Rabbanon. Are you afraid someone's going to go grab your animal? Nah, no one could grab your animal. Why? Because everybody knows you only did it to get out of Shvisa's Bamtai. So what is this? Wink, wink? It's not a real Hefker? Says the Mishnabura Chasa Chalila. Says the Mishnabura, Ois Cotton Yud Ches. Davade ain't kavanasai, says the Bishra. What does the Ramah mean here? It's not a lomar. What the Ramah wants to say is, Shebevada lo yo yabadaito shi yishar hefker lo oilam. Everybody understands that this hefker was only a hefker for Shabbos. Yes, you were a mafkrit in front of three people. It's a real bona fide hefker. But it's only a hefker for Shabbos. Kiyam liyam Shabbos bovad. Kedel afkiyam ea lovis a Shabbos. Ula akhara Shabbos yaksa la rishusai. After Shabbos, it's going to become yours again. But of course, on Shabbos itself, it's a real Hefker. And says the Mishnah in the brackets, and that is a real Hefker. Like the Gemara says in the Darim, Hefker for one day is a bona fide Hefker. Now, I, if it's a real Hefker, somebody might take it from you on Shabbos. Maybe someone who's going to be kind of the animal on Shabbos says the Mishnah remains Tzarech Lach Hashem Yiskav Acher Echer Acher B'Shabbos Gufa. You don't have to worry that someone's going to take it on Shabbos. Shebevad He Ain Yehudi Lo Yani Chenu. You know why? Because Tony won't let. In other words, the Ramos saying. The Mechaber said, listen, you got to be mafkrit. Do it by noyle by natsmai. The Ramah says, nah, you could be yitz all the day. Be, be, be mafkrit in front of three people. Ah, you're loath to do that because you're afraid somebody might kind your animal in a hefker? No, they can't. Why? Because everybody knows it's only hefker for Shabbos. Okay, maybe somebody will be kind from hefker on Shabbos. Says the Mishnah, no, you don't got to worry about that. You know why? Because Tony won't let. Where's the animal? The animal's at Tony's barn. Some Yankel Schmerl is going to come to Tony's barn and say, I want to be kind of the animal from Hefker. Tony will take out a shotgun and shoot him. Chas v'chalila. But he'll chase him away. He'll say, get out of here. I rented that animal from Ruben. You can't go. You're not letting you take it. So don't worry. On Shabbos, you're protected too. Okay, now let's go right to here. Let's finish off the Ramah. And this Sif says the Ramah on the second to last line near the end of the line. Vedafka b'Shabbos, you should know that this whole halacha of Shvisas behemtoi is only negaya on Shabbos. Alva biyomtiv ain't other mitzvah shvisas behemtoi biyomtiv. There is no mitzvah of shvisas behemtoi 
on Yom Tov. On Yom Tov, your animal is allowed to do malacha, so says the Rama. Says the Mishtabura, Ice cut in your test. Ain Adam Mitzvah, on Yom Tov, there's no dinner, Shri Sabahemtai. Why? The Shri Sabahemtai, Yafina, Mimadik, Sivil, Aman, Yenua, Shorcha, Vechabe, Recha, Kamoicha. Because, like we said earlier, where do you get Shri Sabahemtai from? From Yasser, said Dibris, and Parshis Yisroi. What's that talking about? Shabbos. It's not talking about Yom Tov. So says the Rama. Vahai Krabi Shabbos Ksiv. That Pasuk is only in the to Shabbos, not Yom Tov. So there's no mitzvah of Shri Sabahemtai and Yom Tov. But still in all, says the Mishnah Remember, even if there's no din of Shri Sabahemtai on Yom Tov, there's still a halacha of Schar Shabbos for Yom Tov. So if you want to rent out your animal for Yom Tov, you're not allowed to rent it out just specifically for Yom Tov, because then you would be making Schar Yom Tov. Which is usher like Schar Shabbos is usher. So you would have to do it Bahavla, rent it out for the week, including Shabbos, so that you're making earnings on weekdays and Yom Tov. Yom Tov. Fihine, however, says the Mishnah, you should know, on this whole halacha, Hamarshal Chalik Alzeh, the Marshal is Chalik, on what the Ramah says over here from the Beis Yosef, that there's no dinner tree spam there on Yom Tiv, Vidaitoi, it's his opinion, the Yom Tiv is Shabbos Shavin Hain Bazeh, that Yom Tiv is Shabbos are exactly the same when it comes to Shvi Spam Toy, Kemoy Bachal Malachais, all Malacha, except for Malacha that, that's Oichel Nefesh, all Malacha is also on Yom Tiv the same way it is on Shabbos. So why should we spam the difference, says the Marshal? Vayinu Magen Avram, take a look at the Magen Avram, Sheherich Bazeh, who discusses this at length. Or maybe the Habes Yosef Besimit Tav Tzadikei Hevi Deir Siri Shainim Bazeh, and he says that the Mishnah Brur, the Beis Yosef himself, brings down a lot of different sheetas in the Rishonim when it comes to this. Or Mitzadei Sham Leasar, and over there, in in um, Tav Tzadikei, the Magen Avram says that the Beis Yosef leans towards saying that there is an Isser of Shvises Behem Ta'ed Yom Tov. Falkein, Yesh Lahachmir, and therefore we should be Machmir, and we should be knowing the Mitzvah of Shvises Behem Ta'ed even on Yom Tov. Ubebir Agra Gamkein Herich Pazet, the Gra also discusses this at length. Umasik, and he reaches the conclusion, Teho Iker Kedasa Marshal Anal, that the Iker Alacha follows the Marshal, that there is an Isser of Shvises Behem Ta'ed Yom Tov. The Gamla Kaman, Besim and Tafsad, the case of Gilmo, Mefarish Agra, Machakasacham, Bashochan Aruch, the Ein Moitzi and Masa, Ala Behem, Bibi Yom Tov, that you're not allowed to have your animal carry something. So the Gra and Tav Tzadikei is very strongly mashma that the Mechaber himself paskins that there is Shvises Behemtoi on Yom Tiv, just like there is on Shabbos. Thank you so much for joining me. Philippe and Atari, the source of Philippe and Atari, should be making against Klai Yisrael. The Rav Shem should send Yeshua's Rufus Parnasa Chaduchim to all those in need. We should be Zaychet to see the BS Gal Tzedek. Amen. Be well.